107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks. The latest from Jerry Cantrell cuts you in. CD comes out a week from yesterday. Yes. Next week. I know. I'm trying to figure out the date. A week from yesterday would be, I guess, the seventh, maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't like to put in that perspective. Like a week from yesterday. Yesterday's gone. I know. I should say uh, next coming Tuesday. Tuesday. There you go. Very good. Yeah. And speaking of like an Alice in Chains thing, we're doing that gig at Polyester's Route 9 in Framingham Friday. From uh, 10 to midnight, we'll be there with a uh, band that does nothing but Dallas and Chains, an Dallas yeah. and Chains tribute band. Facelift, right? Facelift. So if you're making your plans for the weekend, you can join Op and Ack at Polyester's Route 9 in Framingham Friday. I'm not. Dude, what's up with the weather? Oh my God, how well, depressing. Come on. Do you know that the temperature dropped 50 degrees in 24 hours? I know when it dropped, too. When? When I was laying in bed with just the sheets on and the window open. <laughs> that's what that's what I found out. I woke up at about 3, 4 in the morning like, <laughs> right. freezing. Yeah. Whoa. I had that nasty summer sweat going when I went to bed. Yeah, you know? it was hot when I went to bed. It was hot. I had uh, you know a sheet and a blanket on. And just like you, you said, yeah, in the middle of the night, I'm like, whoa, why is it so open. freaking cold it's at the middle of the summer we don't have weather like this <laughs> the summer oh yeah it's only freaking you yeah know. well you got to throw these days and we had a pretty good uh pretty good run there yes we did Some nice weather and actually it's good it's not gonna be too bad the next four days or so it's no. gonna be mid 50s you know it's just unfortunate it had to fall on a wednesday i know now, who else is bummed out there if yesterday's weather uh was today the boob index would be way up there. It would have been a 10 plus. Yeah. It would have been the best boob index uh, in the history of WOW. Today we have like a, a one boob index. There's like a zero boob index. Yeah, maybe a one, yeah. one and a half. There's nothing. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. As well, always, next week, it's a very long summer. Yes. Coming. We still have a, you know, a show to do here. Of course we do. And we got lots to do, actually. Hmm. Everyone, I, I was just reading email before I, we went on the air. Yeah. Everybody wants to hear the They Call My Name's Bill phone call from yesterday. We did that late yesterday. In Happened the show. late in the show yesterday, so I'm sure there's thousands and thousands of people that haven't heard the latest They Call My Name's Bill. Thank you, please. Frank Call. Call the pharmacy. <laughs> About the impotence pills? Yeah, Viagra, right. it's called. Right. And, uh,. Yeah, it's supposed to uh, cure impotence. You take it an hour before sex, and uh, you're sporting wood. Right. You go to work. Right. So uh, old Bill called. <laughs> and you know what? How about we do it the next time we talk? That's good. We'll play it twice today. We'll play it in a little while, and then we'll play it in the 5 o'clock hour as well. Uh, thank you, please. All right. And if you got something for the show, give us a call, 931-1AF. Fax line is 931-1073. And we're also going to update you on the uh, Mayor Menino situation. So stay right where you are. It's the Op and Act Show on the only station that really rocks. 107.3 WAF. 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks. That's the song she found you from the band Sam I Am. It's Sophie and Anthony. Um, uh, Looking at the paper, it's so weird. Baseball season has started. So, uh, right. Celtics, I was going to say. Uh, Red Sox play tonight. It's just, uh, it's hard to comprehend at this point point in time at least it's not snowing i remember the, you know a couple of times uh the socks would kick up and and it was snowing out so you don't need that well a year ago today we had the huge three foot blizzard that's right so yeah thank god knock on wood it's not happening this year i'm pretty uh i'm pretty satisfied it's pretty much done winter i mean ah oh, you had uh, to say that knock well, on wood I knock on something uh today i took my ice scraper out of my car oh you threw it away and i threw it away right in the dumpster uh, there it went all right. Took the snow shovel out of my trunk. Yeah. Make a little room for the golf clubs. <laughs> there you go. So we should have that blizzard by tomorrow <laughs> or the know. next day. They're kind of hinting <laughs> at rain mixed with snow over the weekend. There will be no snow. The weathermen love saying that because it... Wouldn't it be hysterical if after all the heat we've had, it snowed? Now, we know it's not going to snow, but we could say it might snow. We'll It'll hint. make the people go, can you believe it? It's so hot, <laughs> but next week it's going to snow. <laughs> And they know it's not going to snow. They know it. I hope not. We've got the geeks. But I'll tell you, baseball season, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up some interest like May 1st. 
the first month of baseball, I yeah. just can't get into it. I got to get past the the hockey and basketball season still. It really makes no bearing on what uh, the season's going to bring either. No, not really. Hey, they're doing great. You know, yeah. fast forward end of the season. That was the crappiest season they ever had. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love the real heavy fanatics they get on the air at the sports stations and stuff. Say the Red Sox, God forbid, lose their first three games. Right. It's all over, dude. It's pretty much over, I think. <laughs> right. uh, you know, hope we, we got to look toward next year, I guess. Yeah, let's start playing for, you know, play planning three, for next year. Three out of a thousand games that they <laughs> right. play. Yeah. yeah, we only have 159 games left. I, I just don't see them turning it around, you know? Yeah, it's looking pretty grim. <laughs> right. You <laughs> watch. Funny. You watch. As soon as the Red Sox yeah. lose that first game, tune in with your favorite sports station and you'll have all those complainers <laughs> bitching about the team and how they suck and, uh, and what's wrong with the team and blah blah <laughs> blah blah know it all that's right so do we know what's going on with mayor menino yet no i haven't gotten any uh more information than we got earlier seems some kind of accident in uh, florida in florida know. if anyone has the latest info could you please give us a call at 931 af we don't have a uh tv station that we could tune in but uh, no. supposedly a serious accident in uh Northern Florida. All right. Yeah, man. Hey, dude, we got to play the uh, They Call My Name's Bill from yesterday. Oh, boy. Thank you, please. Now, what's the setup on this? Well, I was reading the paper yesterday. Uh, new drug, Viagra. Uh, if you're impotent, your guy, you, you take it and uh, you get wood. You take it an hour before sex, you get wood. And it lasts through the uh, sex act. Nice. And men are just saying, uh, impotent men are saying, this is the best thing in the world. It's a miracle. They can hop back in the saddle again. I'm just not into <laughs> pills and devices to, you know, no, for the, sex. The pump. I like the Nike yeah. sneaker pump they put in your sack and right, you know, right, blow right. it up. Yeah, you pump up your schween so you can have sex. No, thank you. My yeah. sex life is over if it comes down to that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But, uh, yeah, we figured uh, old Bill, they call my name's Bill, ought to call a pharmacy and find out about it and maybe... Uh, Tell him uh, he might have taken a couple of pills too many. Yeah, because you're only supposed to take one. It's, uh, one it's strong stuff. And uh, yesterday when Bill called, he took five. Oh, my God. Listen to this from yesterday. Hello, what can I help you? Yes, please. They call my name Bill. I have a couple of questions, please. I'm an elderly gentleman. Yes. Uh, I'm calling about the drug Viagra. Right. It's a, a, the, the impotence drug. Right. How does this work? Um, it acts upon smooth muscle tissue. Um, it's a tablet it's taken by mouth. Um, orally. Orally, correct. It's not available yet. Well, uh, one of the gentlemen at my home has, uh, was a test subject. Right. And uh, he had some, and I mixed them up with my vitamins, and I took five. You took five of them? Yeah, and now I'm, I'm hurting. Yeah, I believe so. It's blown up like a party balloon. I have quite an erection, and I want to know what I could do to get rid of it. Um, I'm an elderly gentleman. They call my name's Bill. Right. Is there something I could do? It's got a life of its own, I tell you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like a... a it's, it's, I swear it's like a party balloon. Like I could make a giraffe out of it if I wanted to. But it's hurting now, and I need... Uh, something to do with this. Right. To get rid of it. you have any drugs to get rid of it? No, we don't. Or should I just stare at a picture of Rosie O'Donnell? <laughs> Would that work, please? <laughs> it might work for me, that's for sure. No help from the pharmacist. Thank uh, you. I'm sorry. I tried just squeezing it, thinking it would go away, but then my testicles blew up like hoppity hops. I just can't get rid of it. I took five pills, and it's, it's out of control. <laughs> I know. It's on a mission. I, I look like a, my name should be Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to wait out the storm, I think. My wife ran away. She was frightened. It was so big. She couldn't get wet at Niagara Falls. She's like 70 years old, and she hasn't seen a, a monster like that since... The Kaiser was in charge over in Germany. It's like a big blood sausage. I know. You ever see those? They're like fairs. Mm -hmm. Big blood sausage is what I got. It's turning purple. It's like I got an eggplant between my legs. <laughs> I would go to the ER. ER will yeah. take care of it? Yeah. I need a bun for my blood sausage. I think so. Maybe a nurse could take care of that one for me. 
I think so. I don't think it'll fit in the ambulance. <laughs> Quite frankly, they might slam it in the rear door. Uh, they could put you up on top. I look funny laying on a gurney covered with a blanket. It looked like a teepee. <laughs> For crying out loud, it's huge. <laughs> okay, well, I would go there. Oh, thank you for your for your help, Mr. Pharmacist, please. No problem. Thank you, please. Bye. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> they call my name's Bill. <laughs> 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks. 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks with the hunger and vanishing cream. A WAF exclusive. Haven't yeah. played that song in a while, huh, bro? No. I like to hear that, that again. Without a doubt. Rocks. Hey, we got a uh, lady uh, calling the wrong radio station. Which, what station? I don't know. I think it's uh, Howie, whatever. Oh. Big, fat, bloated mess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to mess with her? Hey, sure. Okay. Is Hello? This, is this Howie Khan? Yes, how you doing? Good, how are you? Very good. Good. I'm calling regarding uh, the, the contest on WIKO. Yes, and tell the people about that contest. Okay, am I a winner? Uh, why don't you describe the contest to everybody? Well, uh, if you're the 68th caller, you could win $1,000 or you could win, win $5,000. Yeah, that's right. And you're giving right. away twenty thousand. Twenty thousand dollars. Right. Big, big contest we're having here. Right. Am I winning? So, Am I a winner? How long have you been listening? Oh, all the time. I listen to Howie all the time. Hey, ma'am, can you believe about uh, Mayor Menino? What being in Florida? Uh, well, y you haven't heard. No. He was in a horrible uh, car crash today. Oh, no, what happened? Uh, he died. Get out of here. It's gonna hit the news at six o'clock. You watch. Get out of here. Where did it, where was, where did it happen? Uh, northern Florida. I guess he was uh, driving to the uh, to the airport to come back to Boston, and he was in an accident. Are you kidding? No, head-on collision. Who, to whom am I speaking? This is Jim in, in charge of the news uh, department here. Really? Yeah. Jim, which, did I win you, any money? We're just trying to get uh, the reaction on the Mayor Menino thing. Well, I called to see if I won any money. You haven't told me. Our mayor died, and you I don't all, care about the mayor. All you want is all money. All I want is a thousand dollars. You're pathetic. I know it. I am. I'm a, a typical Bostonian. You're completely pathetic. I am. I am. You, you don't even have any remorse for uh, Mayor Menino's no, family. No, I couldn't care less. Why? Because I, he's, he, I don't live in Boston. He's not my mayor. We want to give the money away to someone who lives in Boston and understands our city. Oh, you do? Yes. In other words, I'm not winning, huh? No, no. You're not winning at all. You're well, actually pissing me off. Oh, really? Well, you know, the same goes to you. Whatever. You're a ditto head. A ditto head. Oh, yeah, that, yes, you are. Right. Yeah, that's real original. So, are our you really working for RKO? Our, our mayor's head went through the windshield uh, a couple hours ago, and all you care about is winning money. Are you really you working slob. for RKO? Freaking slob. Oh, quiet, you jerk. Slob. <laughs> oh, there she goes. <laughs> she wanted her money. Well, she ain't getting money from us. Metallica coming to town July 18th to Great Woods. We'll have tickets to give away. As part of our summer concert marathon. We gotta start talking about that soon, huh? It's WAF, crank up the stereo, baby. Hey, F. Hello, who's this? What can I do for you? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, my name is Mary. What can I do for you? Well, uh, who is this? This is Jim. Jim who? It's just Jim, why? Oh, uh, because I wanna know who you are. I wanna know where, you, where you're working. Huh? Where are you working, Jim? RKO, what's up? Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think so. Whatever. What can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. Slop. <laughs> 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks Goldfinger and My Head, one of the bands that played the indoor beach party this past Saturday night. Couldn't go to the show. Well, we got uh, lots and lots of footage for you for this week's episode of Real Rock TV. We'll be on Saturday night at midnight on WNI, so tune it in to see what you missed. It's Opie and Anthony. You got something for the show? Give us a call, 931-1-AAF. AF! Hey, hi. Uh, listen, I'm, ca I'm calling you from New York. Yeah. And I'm calling to ask a question. Yeah. A friend of mine from Providence just called me and told me that you had mentioned that Pearl Jam is breaking up. Uh, yes, that's the info we're getting. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Well, the reason I'm calling is, see, I'm a bodyguard, and I travel for different entertainers. Yeah. And I'm due to go on the road with Pearl Jam. Right. And uh, he just called me because he knew I was going on the road with them, and because uh, their uh, tour starts June 20th out in uh, Montana. And we were supposed to be around Boston area on the 15th of September. 
at the uh, Great Wood Center? Yeah, exactly. Um, it doesn't look like that's going to be happening. Wow. According well, to our I'll... sources, by the end of the week, they're going to be uh, completely done. No kidding. Yeah, so you better check with your people before you uh, go on yeah, tour. Yeah, well, exactly. Well, uh, they just sent me the itinerary. Uh, I just got it in the mail Monday. Yeah. And now all of a sudden he called me to tell me that you people had mentioned. Well, I guess Eddie's not happy because the record sales aren't doing too well. And, yeah. uh, and the tickets for the tour in some cities are flat out doing horribly. Yeah. So, well, I know he's very upset with Ticketmaster, always has been. Well, I, he's kept, he's also get, getting a lot of, you know, flack from Ticketmaster and right, stuff. Exactly. And for going back with Ticketmaster to sell the tickets for this show. And uh, I don't know, I think it all got to him. Wow. All well, right. That, uh, that's ironic, yeah. All right, well, bro. Sheesh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, bye. Bye. Hey, yeah. Hey. What's up, buddy? Hey, what happened to Menino? I was in the bathroom taking a dump. My coworker said he's dead. Uh, yeah, he was in a car accident in Florida. He was, no. on, he was on his way back to the uh, airport to come back to Boston. He was in a head-on collision. No kidding? Yeah, all the details are sketchy, but it's going to be on the news at 6, I guess. Oh, no kidding, huh? Yeah. Well, hey, thanks, thanks for telling me, man. That's pretty freaky, huh? Isn't that something? Jesus Christ. All right, man. Have a good one. Thank you. Hey, F, who's this? Hey, how you doing? It's Andy. What's up, Andy? Uh, I got some news. My parents just came back from Florida, and they said they uh, drove by the accident site where Mayor Menino got killed in. Yeah. They said uh, 95 was closed for the longest time. I guess uh 18-wheeler hit a bridge abutment. The bridge collapsed, and it collapsed on top of Mayor Menino's car. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, yeah, the details are slowly but surely coming in, but... So, I mean, more bad news for... Boston listeners. Freaking tragic, bro. What is the city going to do? I have no idea. All right. Well, thanks a lot for the info. If you, if you find anything else out, please let us know because we, hey. we don't have any uh, access to news right at this moment. Do the best I can for you, brother. Thanks, buddy. You got it. All right. 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks. That's the band Caramel and Lucy, a WAF exclusive. It's yeah. Opie Anthony. How are you, bro? What's up, man? Busy, busy day, actually. I'm just not looking forward to uh, going home, and the TV is going to be taken up now 24 hours a day with the Menino story. Ugh. <laughs> you You're going to have to look at his history, uh, rise to mayor, and uh, please. I'm tired of it. AF! Hey. My brother just woke me up and said the mayor of Boston's dead? Yeah. He said he got struck by lightning or something like that? No, that's... Uh, there's so many stories going around. No, he was in a traffic accident in Florida on his way to the airport to come back to Boston. He was vacationing down there. Really? Yeah, on I-95. Something to do with a bridge and a tractor trailer, but, uh... You know. did, the, did lightning hit the bridge? I, I didn't hear that part of the story yet. Oh. You know, when a big story like this breaks, a lot of weird uh, facts come in. He's really dead? Yeah, head-on collision. Wow. All right, bro. All right, man. Thanks. I guess we'll find out more soon. Yeah. Mmm. There you have it. Oh, Crazy mm -hmm. Jim's on the hotline. Crazy Jim. Crazy Jim! Hey, what's going on? What do you got today, bro? Hey, listen, I'm uh, dropping around and listening to the radio, and they're reporting that Mayor Menino died. You guys heard anything yeah. about it? Dude, we've been talking about it for the last hour and a half. No, well, you know, I have to listen to other stations and crap. Listen to our station. You work for AF, you idiot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are they reporting? What's the latest? Anyway, they, they're saying that he was in a multi-car accident, and there was uh, tractor trailers involved, ah. some, something about a bridge. I, I didn't quite hear it all. Well, someone uh, just called in and said uh, that the car was struck by lightning. That's completely ridiculous. I didn't hear that. All right. Well, you know, that's all I heard. I'm j I just try to be uh, reporting the news as I heard it. All right, brother. All right, man. I'll talk Thank to you, you later. All right, bye-bye. Right. Uh, can we talk about something else today? Yeah, please. Depressing. Oh, I got something I got to play. What? Stick around. We'll do it next. The only station that really rocks, 107.3 WAF. One hundred seven point three WAF, the only station that really rocks sublime and Santeria. It's Opie and Anthony and the rest of the gang here in the AF studios. Hey man, in a little while we're gonna get a report from uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Mm. I think we got a reporter that's gonna give us some of the details on the crash. So keep on listening for that. All right. All right. Hey, I, I gotta abuse you today. What did I do? Remember um, after the show yesterday, you went into the production studio and you were cutting some spots for the Boston Celtics? <laughs> yeah. And you goofed up a little bit? 
I was having fun. I got I got Anthony bloopers, everyone. Come on. You did this to me about, I don't know, a year ago, and I got you back. You were having a tough time with uh, the script for the Boston Celtics. I wasn't having a tough time. You kept yelling, one take, one take, do it, do it, do it, one take. Come on, that's it. That's good. That's good. <laughs> like, if I slurred a word, Hope is like, no, leave it. That's good. Right. Like, we're in a big hurry. Well, I got the whole mess on uh, tape here for I us. I knew I should delete these things after <laughs> I do them. Check this out. This is oh. Anthony messing up in the production studio last night. On Watch Antoine Walker and the Boston Celtics battle Horace Grant and the Orlando Magic. Good enough. Keep going. Watch Rick Patino that c fuck. <laughs> Watch Rick Patino that c fuck. Good. Take three. <clears throat> Don't miss Antoine Walker. Ron Mercer and the Boston Celtics go head to head against Kerry Kittle. Kerry Kittle. Good enough. Keep going. Kerry <laughs> <laughs> Kittles? Yeah. Who is he? That is, that is a real name. All right. Kerry Take Kittle. three. Take two. Go. <clears throat> Celtics game. <laughs> Celtics game, <laughs> Celtics game time gets underway tonight at 6.30. Tap off is at 7. <laughs> uh, sparks are going to fly and it's going to come out of Antoine Walker's cock when the Boston Celtics f*** Horace Grant up the c*** ass. <laughs> sparks are going <laughs> to... Sparks are going to fly when Antoine Walker and the Boston Celtics battle Horace Grant and the Orlando Magic. Celtics game time... Celtics game time begin. <laughs> Celtics game time begins tonight at 6:30. Tap off is at seven on the home of the Boston Celtics. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> well, you kept yelling, faster, go! Now. What the hell are you doing in there? That's damn funny, though. I've gotten you some uh, sometimes. Oh boy, when I you're know, in that cursing, I know. I know. We'll, we'll have to play some of my bloopers. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, fair is fair. All right, if you got something for the show, give us a call, 931-1AF. Fax line is 931-1073. We'll get a report from Jacksonville, Florida next. Stay right where you are. One oh seven point three WAF, the only station that really rocks Pearl Jam from the Yield CD and Wish List. It's Ophie and Anthony, a very, very busy news day. Yeah. With the death of the mayor, the Pearl Jam thing. And Kevin Klein has just handed me this. You're not going to believe this one. This is coming out of Washington. Paula Jones case versus Clinton thrown out. That's it. It's over. It's over. In a stunning victory for President Clinton, a federal judge has thrown out all of the charges in Paula Jones' sexual harassment lawsuit, an official said today. Arkansas federal judge Susan Weber Wright has reportedly ruled that Jones had failed to produce evidence of harassment. Indications are that Jones's lawyers will appeal the ruling. Yeah, of course, they that will. means the Monica Lewinsky thing is Dunsky. The the Willie thing is Dunsky. All that stuff is done. Well, Clinton walks. Well, if they find out he lied or anything, if any of those things come back up, I don't know. Amazing. I don't think it'll ever all go away. You don't think so? No. That that's absolutely a huge, huge story. He's that a, was breaking as we speak. I, I I don't think he uh sexually harassed her in the first place. If he even if he did pull his pants down and go, Hey honey, you wanna you know Wait, most guys do that any Friday night yeah. in Boston. She so. ran out of the hotel room. It wasn't like he, you know, coerced her uh, out of a job or something like that. But um yeah, I think it's silly. The case was silly. Not that I don't think he's been banging everything that moves. I think it's very obvious at this point that he's been banging everything that has moved for the last 15, uh, 20 years. And I think Hillary Clinton knows exactly what the president has been up to. Yeah. I think they have some kind of agreement for political power. Yeah, they both get whatever chicks they want. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you got, man? What's up, man? Dude, I I, I got to come in here. I don't want to. I don't ah, want to. We're turning his mic off for a minute. <laughs> if you got something for the show, give us a call. 931-1-AAF. AF. Who is this? Opie and Anthony, what's up? What's going on? This is Phil. I'm a listener of yours. Hey, Phil. Hey, I got a question for you, man. Yeah. This Pearl Jam thing, is this an April Fool's joke? Um, yeah. Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> Sorry, that was our little April Fool's joke for everybody. What about this Menino thing? Is that the same thing, too? How could that possibly be a joke as well? Wow. That's a that would be a very sick joke, dude. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't I, even think me and Anthony are that sick, but you got us on the Pearl Jam. Uh, has anybody else got you yet? Um, no. I think you're pretty much the only one that has figured it out. Damn. Matter of fact, dude, we got to go because we're going to be talking to uh, Roger Grimsley from Jacksonville about the Mayor Menino thing. Oh, all right, dude. All right, brother. Take care. Bye.
There you have it. Dude, we got Roger on the line finally. All right. From Jacksonville. From Jacksonville, Florida, where the uh, Mayor Menino crash happened. He's from, uh, Kevin's handing me this, WNWZ News in Jacksonville. Roger! Yes. It's Opie and Anthony from WAF in Boston. We got you live on the air. We're trying to get the latest on the Mayor Menino crash. Yes, gentlemen. Uh, I have de some details for you. I've been uh, putting them together uh, here in the NWZ newsroom. Uh, mayor Menino, that's your mayor? Yes. Menino. Yes, Boston. He was uh, traveling north on uh, I-95, which I'm sure some of your uh, listeners are familiar with. Um, on his way to Jacksonville, it appears, to the airport. He did have uh, luggage in the car. Um, in his Lincoln Town car, and he had a head-on collision uh, with a, a tractor-trailer, I'm oh, said man. to report. Uh, it, it only happened, uh, say, within the last 60 to 90 minutes, so I don't have uh, many details, but it uh, was a Lincoln Town car. Uh, a female companion, uh, maybe of Cuban descent, unsure of the age, uh, but somewhat young, uh, also in the car. Uh, there's no word on her condition, but the mayor um, has been uh, pronounced dead uh, at the scene. Wow. So we have a uh, rather grim situation down here. Um, and that's uh, just about all the details we have. There's no, no, uh, no, no, like, cause of the crash or anything? Any info on that? Y you know, you know it, it's really hard to tell, but it appears that the tractor trailer uh, crossed the median and uh, basically became airborne. Wow. Uh, and went into the other lanes and landed head on, basically. Well, we're also hearing rumors that there is lightning involved, but. I, I don't. We did have lightning. I don't know if that was part of the crash. Uh, mm -hmm. It may have been. I, 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 as far as I can tell from the scene, though, it, it seems the tractor trailer jumped the median and uh, crashed head onto the mayor's wrong car. Wrong place at the wrong time. Wow. All right, there you have it. Roger Grimsley from Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Roger. And there he goes. Wow. That pretty much confirms it. Let's go to the phones next, get some reactions uh, from the listeners, huh? Cool. Give us a call, 931-1AF. In the meantime, it's Beck. Yeah, yeah. 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks Stabbing Westward and Save Yourself. Those guys rocked the Karma Club last night. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey, yeah, man. Phone's going absolutely nuts today. Another busy show here. It certainly is. Uh, we're getting requests uh, to play the They Call My Name's Bill call one more time. Thank you, please. Hey, dude, I, I got to ask you a question real quick. Yeah, hit it. How old is Bill Clinton? Bill Clinton turned 50, I believe, or 51 tops. All right. So Al Gore turned 50, right? So 15 years ago when he had this little tryst with uh, Miss uh, America there, Elizabeth Ward Grayson. He was about 35, I guess. 35, and she was 22, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Bill. Rock. Yeah. And Chelsea was about three or four at the time. Yeah. <laughs> what a mess he is. This guy is just a finagler, man. Look at that. She's Elizabeth Ward Grace, and she's kind of cute. Yeah, she was, she was cute, She actually. doesn't fit the profile of all the uh, pigs that uh, Bill's been boffing. No, not at all. Here are the news, the Paula Jones case, thrown out of court. Which is just amazing. That's it. He, uh, once again, the Teflon Prez yeah. walks. <laughs> the te Nothing that, sticks, that, man. Nothing sticks to this guy. That should be his new name, you know? Yeah. He's slippery. That is an like, amazing story. Like a lot of the girls that leave the Oval Office, they're, they're, he's slippery. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of amazing stories today. Yeah. Hey, uh, we got a replay. They call my name's Bill from oh yesterday. Oh, boy, I need my... Viagra. Yeah, what's the setup on this again? That Viagra is an impotence drug for, for yeah. guys that can't get it up? You take it uh, an hour before sex, and uh, you're stiff as a board for the whole uh, length of the act. So you got to make sure you're, you're going to definitely score. Yeah, you, if you take it thinking you're going to score, and then you don't, now what are you going to do? you got to walk around with this thing in your pants? You uh, know? I know what to do. I, <laughs> Come on. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Right. I would be horrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this uh, new impotence drug, they call my name's Bill, called the pharmacy because you're only supposed to take one pill, and he took, oh, what was five. it, five? Yeah, horrible right. thing for old Bill. Check it out from yesterday. Hello, can I help you? Yes, please, they call my name's Bill. I have a couple of questions, please. I'm an elderly gentleman. Yes. I'm, I'm calling about the drug M Viagra. Right. It's a, a, the, the impotence drug. Right. How does this work? Um, it acts upon smooth muscle tissue. Um, it's a tablet taken by mouth. Um, orally. Orally, correct. 
It's not available yet. Well, uh, one of the gentlemen at my home has, uh, was a test subject. Right. And uh, he had some, and I mixed them up with my vitamins, and I took five. You took five of them? Yeah, and now I'm, I'm hurting. Yeah, I believe so. It's blown up like a party balloon. I have quite an erection. And I want to know what I could do to get rid of it. Um, I'm an elderly gentleman. They call my name's Bill. Right. Is there something I could do? It's got a life of its own, I tell you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like a... a it's, it's, I swear it's like a party balloon. Like I could make a giraffe out of it if I wanted to. But it's hurting now, and I need uh, something to do with this. Right. To get rid of it. you have any drugs to get rid of it? No, we don't. I said I just stare at a picture of Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Would that work, please? <laughs> it might work for me, that's for sure. No help from the pharmacist. Thank uh, you. I'm sorry. I tried just squeezing it, thinking it would go away, but then my testicles blew up like hoppity hops. I just can't get rid of it. I took five pills and it's... It's out of control. <laughs> I know. It's on a mission. I, I look like... A, my name should be Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to wait out the storm, I think. My wife ran away. She was frightened. It was so big. She couldn't get wet at Niagara Falls. She's like 70 years old, and she hasn't seen a, a monster like that since... The Kaiser was in charge over in Germany. It's like a big blood sausage. I know. You ever see those at like fairs? Mm -hmm. Big blood sausage is what I got. It's turning purple. It's like I got an eggplant between my legs. <laughs> I would go to the ER. ER will yeah. take care of it? Yeah. I need a bun for my blood sausage. I think so. Maybe a nurse could take care of that one for me. I think so. I don't think it'll fit in the ambulance. <laughs> Quite frankly, they might slam it in the rear door. Uh, they could put you up on top. I look funny laying on a gurney covered with a blanket. It looked like a teepee. <laughs> for crying out loud, it's huge. <laughs> okay, well, I would go there. Oh, thank you for your... For your help, Mr. Pharmacist, please. No problem. Thank you, please. Bye. <laughs> I love old Bill. We love to call my name's Bill. A blood sausage. <laughs> the only station that really rocks. 107.3 WAF. AF. Hello? Yeah. Yes, could you tell me if that report of Menino's death is true or not? Well, we can't really confirm it at this time. Uh, we're going to have uh, more info in a few minutes, actually. Well, what was that report you had a while ago? You said it was from Jacksonville. Wasn't that a confirmation? Uh, yeah, Jacksonville. The, the story goes Mayor Menino was in a car crash head-on with a tractor trailer. Well, City Hall won't confirm it. Well, why would they, why would they confirm it? Why wouldn't they if it was true? It Neither would, will BZ or WRKO or any of the other stations. It would put the whole damn city in a, in a frenzy. Then why are you reporting it? Because we don't give a, you know what. I just hope you're not playing a sick joke on the city. On the whole entire city? Yeah. My God, that well, would be I, crazy. I, mayor's very important to you, I guess. Yes, he is. And if this is a joke, this is sick. Okay. Well, like. we're good. We're going to get uh, the latest report in a few minutes, so you keep listening, okay? Yeah. All right. Whew. Tough day here at the uh, the old rock and roll ranch. Hey, earlier today we had uh, Damon in from Brother Kane, Damon Johnson. Yeah, I want to hear this. This is really cool. Uh, Ozone had him on the show. He was doing a little promo tour for his latest CD, and he played a song from his uh, latest disc. And then when he got off the air, he decided he wanted to play another song. And he played uh, the single from his new CD, I Lie in the Bed, I Make. So this is the first time it's getting played. Ever, yeah. Wow. We just kind of threw him a, a guitar that hangs out in Dave's office, our boss's office. This guy rolls. He's no prima donna guy. He comes in here, you give him a guitar, he's going to play. There you go. So check it out. It's Brother Kane, Damon Johnson, actually, of Brother Kane. And I Lie in the Bed, I Make. This is about uh, four hours old. Check it out. I'm out of the past. On a moon jet from out of bound I try to relax When my church runs me out of town I 
out of my chance I do the whole what you never knew coming around And I won't be leaving Say you can, say you will I'm trying to fall out of self-regret Hold the hand and hold your face But don't let it lead you home Right or wrong I am the better To believe in a jagged edge, the sentiment of of a self-centered wonder man coming unglued. Oh, I couldn't be more obvious. Say you can, say you knew. Your sincerity blamed in doubt All you loved and all you knew Time let it lead you home On and on A lie and the bed I made so Right or wrong A lie and the bed I made Still attracts a crowd I try to relax Oh, I couldn't be more obvious Say you can, say you will Try to fall out of self-regret Hold the hand and hold your face But don't let it lead you home WAF, the only station that really rocks the band Feeder and Descend. That's a WAF exclusive. It's Opie and Anthony. Phones are going nuts. Everyone's got a comment about uh, the Mayor Menino thing. Yeah. Want to go to the phones? If you want to talk, give us a call. 931-1AF. AF! Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, man. Channel 4 just had it on the news that you guys are lying about Mayor Menino. It said on the TV that AF is um, giving out a false statement about Mayor Menino. He's not He's not dead. He's still alive. Get out of here. They wrote it's an April Fool's joke. It was on, like, you know how they like, do the lottery numbers? Yeah. It went across the screen like that. Get out of here! Yeah. Are you kidding? No. You're lying! I'm not at all. You're dude, lying! You're, you're I'm bad. not lying, dude. I, my mother just had it on the TV, and it, she just told me, because I told it when you guys said it, he was dead. She just told me that they had it on the news that you guys were lying. <laughs> Come on. I swear to God, I'm not lying. It dude. was scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Yeah. It said that AF is giving out a false statement about the death of Mayor Menino. Dude, dude, you guys are causing an uproar in the city. Everybody's going nuts thinking he's dead. You guys are the shit, dude. I love you guys. Come on! That is the best joke, dude. They were showing the lottery yeah. numbers and then they scrolled across yeah. the bottom of the screen? Yeah, yeah. Dude, guess what we did to my teacher Suckers! today? And Got you again! Dude, AF. Yeah, hi, I just want to let you guys know that Opie and Anthony are the only two people that ever play an April Fool's joke on me. Really? Yes. No one can ever get me, and I believe in that um, Mayor Menino was killed. Uh. 
I swear to God, I went home. <laughs> Listen, I was riding in the car, I was picking up my brother. Yeah. And I'm coming home. Yeah. And the both of us like, oh my God, he died. Oh. <laughs> I go home and I turn on New England cable news and I'm waiting for it and waiting for it to be on the news. Right, right, right. Oh, I felt like such a fool. So I just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, thanks. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's all go to Larky's and have a beer today. Hey, what do you say? I'm gonna go to Larky's. I think Pearl Jam's man. coming back. That is so funny. <laughs> I mean, come on, think about it. <laughs> We're your source for news here. <laughs> your New England news source, Opie and Anthony show. Op and Act. Op Act News. Oh, we'll, we'll tell you the stories that you need to know. Uh, let's jam one from uh, Reload. It's Metallica. Fuel. Yeah. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. My name is Jeff. The ladies call me Vicky Smiles. Mm, notorious. L I T T L E. Break it down. Wee wee ding dong, boo boo shaft. Laugh if you want my cut in half. Organ speckle rocket pump. When I wear a tight jeans, you don't see no lump. He's a little Why gotta be about inches? Between us, in love to my ladies, I always make them smile. Cause they cool with the fact that I'm hung like a child. My little penis is so cute and sweet that if I made a porno, it'd still be rated G. G. Back in the days when I was a teenager, before I had pubes, before I used to raise her. Mama said, stand proud, throw away the ruler. Other boys are bigger, but you're a lot cooler. The Jewish gangster with a belly getting bigger. And the penis the size of a machine gun trigger. Or a cow, a joy. Pop a cap in all them boys. I'm gonna ding a dong a bigger than mine. On top of all this, I'm circumcised. Woody Wiener member Willie It hides up inside me when it gets real chilly Boner, sippy, carrots or pickle Call it what you want, I call mine Don Rico He's a little Cause I love it Yo, I ain't even trying to hear that He's a little Don't call it a thumbtack Hey, dig it I don't know what you did to me last night, baby But ooh, you rock my world I thought fun size was just you got a little weenie, say ho. You got a teeny weenie, say hey ho. And wave your little jimmies in the air. And pee like you just don't care. If you see me naked at the gym, don't stare. stare. He's a little pee. He's a little pee. 7.3 WABC. Good the only station that really rocks Caroline Spine and Sullivan, one of the bands that played the indoor beach party this past Saturday night at the Bayside Expo Center. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, got to uh, remind you that we're going to be showing a lot of the activities that went on at the Bayside Expo Center on Real Rock TV this Saturday night at midnight on WNI. That's right. Um, I think we're going to be featuring the indoor beach party for the next two weeks, actually, on Real Rock TV. So if you went to the party, you might even see your, your face on TV mm -hmm. this Saturday night. All right. All right. Want to take a few more calls before we get out of here? Let's do that. AF. Okay, here's the question I have. A friend of mine calls, says that Mayor Tom Menino was killed in a car accident, and I'm thinking to myself that only someone like Opie and Anthony would try pulling a stunt like that on April Fool's Day. Now, what's the deal? Do you guys? <laughs> <laughs> no one else came to mind, huh? No, no, no. You were absolutely the first person that came to mind. <laughs> You sure it wasn't anyone else? Yeah, maybe another wacky disc no. jockey could have pulled that one. No, I don't think so. Not one other DJ came to mind with a sick, twisted sense of humor like that, huh? Not one other person in the whole state came to mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're the culprits. We're the culprits. <laughs> yeah. But he's okay, yeah? Uh, I guess. Good as he's ever been. Yeah. <laughs> If okay is okay, all right. I wouldn't call him okay, but he's he's still breathing. He's still there. We go. All, all right. right, all right, man. Thanks. Th thank you. These phones are like lit, bro. Wow, I'm getting some email too. What is the email saying? Yeesh. From a former listener. <laughs> oh no. I'm disappointed with you too. Why? Of all the April Fool's jokes you could have pulled, you pulled you had to pick probably one of the most tasteless types of joke. The death of anyone isn't funny thing in any form, no matter how you look at it. I know no one died for real, and I have a good a sense of humor as the next guy. Yeah, right. But I also have good taste. And what you two did today was just completely stupid. Do you think for more than two minutes before you do something <laughs> like this? 
I know everything is usually all fun and games in AAF land, but this time you really effed up. To prove that you... To prove to you that I have a good sense of humor, I think everything you guys have done on and off the radio up till now was the funniest stuff I ever heard. But I have to draw the line somewhere. And joking about someone's death, much less the mayor, is where I draw the line. I hope you guys regret what you have done, even just a little bit, after you think about it for a few minutes, which is perhaps what you should have done before. Signed. Uh, Dave Douglas, our program director. <laughs> wow. No, uh, signed a former listener. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Oh, uh, I want to take another call. They're ringing like crazy. Yeah. AF. Yes, I called earlier to ask you about the Menino hoax. Yes. I just want to let you people know, I think you're the lowest, most disgusting people I've ever heard. And I hope someday your family is hurt the way you've hurt a lot of people today. Um... Okay, thanks. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, all right. Um, thank you. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's starting to get a little ugly here. Dude, I, I think we may have uh, effed up today. You think? No. <laughs> it's AF. Oh seven point three WAF, the only station that really rocks Our Lady Peace and Clumsy. Wrapping up another Opie and Anthony show. You got to thank uh, John and Aaron for sending this in to me. What is it? It says a test for Anthony. Do you have road rage? <laughs> <laughs> Very That's nice. That's me. I'm gonna have to take that. Yeah, we can maybe talk about that tomorrow. Yeah, everyone goose on me if we're here tomorrow. Don't. <laughs> what did uh, Dada Dave say as he was saying goodbye to us today? Um, I am freaking dead. No, well, he was reciting was, something. Yes, yeah, he was reciting some type of mantra. I mean, something. All I know is I saw him in the hallway. He put his hands, uh, his head in his hands, and he's just going. The phone keeps ringing. I can't get any effing work done. Uh oh. All right. Well, hey, thanks for listening. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh-huh. <laughs> You got a few angry calls today. <laughs> so do we. A few. They're still ringing. Your angry emails. Yep. Remember when we first got here to AFOP, how we'd get two or three calls during the whole show, and they were just to tell us, you know. That we sucked. We sucked. Where's Liz? Right. Now look. Now there's about a hundred calls saying that all that we say suck. we suck, and <laughs> where's somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. All right. Well, it's been fun. It has. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be a rough day. Why <laughs> that April Fool's? <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for listening. Thanks for having a sense of humor. And and thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Rocco on your radio next. Turn up the damn radio. It's 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks.